animal tissues. In previous classes, we have studied what is a tissue. Tissue is a group of cells having common origin or performing same or related function. So, except poriferans. Poriferans are commonly called sponges. If you remember, I said sponges are the only multicellular animals without tissues. So, starting from nidaria or cellulitarata up to the highest phylum chordata. So, the cells having common origin, performing same or related function are aggregated to form the structure called tissue. So, study of tissues is called histology. So, histios means tissue, logos means study. So, study of tissues is called histology and today let us discuss the important tissues present in the body of a vertebrate or simply we can say the four important types of tissues present in the body of an animal. So, here you can see in the body of an animal the four basic types of tissues present are epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. So, these are the four types of tissues present in the body of an animal. So, let us know some important details of four types of tissues now. So, first, here I have written the origin of a tissue. You know, we are when you look into the human body. So, in the human body also, all these four tissues are present. And you know, we are the triploblastic animals because the entire body what we have now, it is derived from the three embryonic gem layers of the embryo. Such animal is called triploblastic animal. So, which tissue originates from which embryonic gem layer? First, we have to know. So, during the process of development of an embryo, epithelial tissues origin. So, any of the three embryonic gem layers means epithelial tissues can be produced from embryonic ectoderm, embryonic mesoderm or embryonic Let me look into the general remarks of an epithelial tissue. In an epithelial 
epithelial tissue cells are tightly packed they do not leave large spaces in between so any tissue whenever you talk about in the body of an animal every tissue is made up of only two components what it is cells and tissue matrix but abundance of tissue matrix varies from one type of tissue to another type of tissue so that's why in epithelial tissues what happens cells are tightly packed so tissue matrix is very less in epithelial tissues because cells occupy the much space okay and one more point you have to remember in any epithelial tissue cells rest on a membrane and that membrane is called basement membrane very important point students should remember the most important character of an epithelial tissue in an epithelial tissue cells always rest on a membrane what do you call that membrane basement membrane okay so based on number of layers of cells present on the basement membrane epithelial tissues are of two types that is simple epithelium and stratified epithelium so what does it mean if it is the basement membrane like this on the basement membrane see here you can see in the diagram see this is basement membrane on the basement membrane how many layers of cells are present only one layer of cells is resting on the basement membrane such type of epithelium is called simple epithelium and ultimately what is stratified like this on the basement membrane when more than one layer of cells rest on the basement membrane such type of epithelium is called stratified epithelium okay so what are the important points about epithelial tissues you have to remember so their origin is any of the three embryonic gem layers cells are not directly supplied with the branches of blood vessels that's why they are non vascular in an epithelial tissue cells always rest on a membrane called basement membrane so based on the number of layers of cells present on basement membrane epithelial tissues are of two types they can be simple epithelial tissues and stratified epithelial tissues okay so now coming to connective tissues already i told you connective tissues are mesodermal in origin so they are richly vascular means every cell of the connective tissue has got the abundance supply of branches of blood vessels they are vascular and point you have to remember in a connective tissue tissue matrix occupies the most space when compared to the space occupied by the cells if you remember what i said irrespective of the type every tissue in the body of an animal is made up of two components that is cells and tissue matrix but abundance of tissue matrix varies so here tissue matrix is very less size but here in connective tissue tissue matrix occupies the more space than the space occupied by the cells okay so now connective tissues are mesodermal in origin vascular broadly when we look into the types connective tissues are three types that is loose connective tissue dense connective tissue and specialized connective tissue okay so once again coming to loose connective tissue two examples you have to remember adipose tissue it is the fat storing tissue and one of type of loose connective tissue is areola connective tissue so adipose tissue and areola connective tissue are the examples for loose connective tissue coming to dense connective tissue once again they are classified into dense regular and dense irregular okay so let us know the details examples for that as we are studying the basics here for bridge course just try to remember this coming to specialized connective tissues sir. best examples for specialized connective tissues are blood bone and cartilage come under the category of what specialized connective tissues okay so now let us go with muscular tissue already i told you origin is mesodermal directly supplied with the branches of blood vessels that's why vascular now let us know in the body of a vertebrate what are the types of muscles present in the body of a vertebrate three types of muscles are present based on their location structure okay so now what are the three types of muscles skeletal muscles 
visceral muscles and cardiac muscles skeletal so if you ask me what are skeletal muscles my simple answer the muscles present attached to the bones are called skeletal muscles next visceral muscles visceral wherever we come across visceral you should understand internal so ultimately what are visceral muscles muscles present in the walls of internal organs of the body like muscles present in the wall of our stomach muscles present in the wall of our intestine muscles present in the walls of blood vessels all of them come under the category of what visceral muscles and next cardiac muscles name itself indicates cardiac is always related to what heart so simply speaking what are cardiac muscles muscles present in wall of the heart so muscles present in the wall of the heart are called cardiac muscles okay so based on the location in the body of a vertebrate how many types of muscles are present three types of muscles which are they skeletal muscles visceral muscles and cardiac muscles what are skeletal muscles tell me muscles present attached to the bones what are visceral muscles muscles present in walls of internal organs of the body so muscles present in wall of the heart are called cardiac muscles okay and finally when we look into nervous tissue i already told you what is the origin of nervous tissue nervous tissues are ectodermal in origin means entire nervous tissue is derived from embryonic ectoderm and cells of the nervous tissue are having the supply of branches of blood vessels that's why nervous tissue is vascular and when we look into the entire nervous tissue is made up of two types of cells the two types of cells which make up the nervous tissue are neurons and glial cells so if you ask me what are neurons my answer is like this neurons are the structural and functional units of the nervous tissue and neurons are the highly specialized cells why i am telling that they are so specialized because they are provided with the property that they can convert stimulus into an electrical potential so that is the speciality of the neurons so neurons are the structural and functional units of the nervous tissue these are the highly specialized cells which can convert stimulus into an electrical potential or stimulus into an action potential and neurons are non dividing cells means once we take birth whatever the number of neurons present in our nervous system if we are healthy till our death that number is going to remain same only size of the neuron increases but not the number so that's why neurons are the non dividing cells of the nervous tissue which are the structural and functional units of the nervous tissue okay so other than neurons what else is present cells called glial cells are present so what are glial cells simple supporting cells of the nervous tissue glial cells cannot product cannot produce an action potential but they support the functions of the neurons and glial cells can divide so that's why students should remember neurons are the non dividing cells of the nervous tissue whereas glial cells are the supporting cells and they support the functions of neurons and these are the dividing cells of the nervous tissue okay so this is all about the four types of tissues present in the body of an animal let me repeat what are the four types of tissues epithelial tissues connective tissues muscular tissue and nervous tissue origin of epithelial tissue is any of the three embryonic generators connective tissues are mesodermal in origin muscular 